welcome back. Today I will talk about calibrating your axes, the X, Y and the Z axis on your CNC machine. For you, for you guys who also have a, a 3D printer, you already know uh, it's a way and this is very similar to it. Um, I have made a very simple tool for, um, for uh, measure and adjust my my pulse per unit and uh, in the tool I have made which you can find a link below and go into it you can see a short video on how I do uh, construct this uh, small uh, uh, tool here and you will also need to do maybe two or three times you have to carve uh, out until you are coming to the result you really want to come to. So here, this is the x-axis, and this is the y-axis, and of course this is the hole, and that's what we want to measure, the depth of the hole and the, and the diameter of the x and y-axis. Is this constructed like that? It is 90 millimeters here, 80 millimeters there, and the depth of the hole uh, was uh, uh, 10 millimeters. So the first result, when I dialed in this uh, my machine, it was uh, 90.47 on the x-axis and 80.28 on my y-axis, but my, sex set, my set axis was really off. It was only 6.3. So I use a uh, offline controller, but if you use Mac 3, I will show you later on on the computer how you can find your um, uh, pulse per unit in, in, in the settings. Here on the DDCS, you have uh, for on, on line 34, 35 and 36. If you have four axes, it's 38 as well. And you can hear, you can here see that uh, that I have some values uh, and these values are uh, 1004.331 on the x-axis, 1004.265 on the y-axis and the z-axis has 1010.580. And this is the uh, units we need to adjust so we fit exactly within the uh, distance we want to, to run. So let's... Uh, Go to the computer and I will write down these numbers and let's make some calculations. So when you have started the, the calibrator it will ask you if you want to calibrate a 3D printer or a CNC machine. And uh, you click on the CNC machine. And this brings you to this page here. And as you can see the P per unit is exactly these numbers we had here um, and here's a screenshot you can see here the x-axis is uh, 1000.331 so I will enter that 0 0.331 and it's not a comma for the y-axis it was also 1004 4.265 and for the set axis it was 1010.580 so this is uh, the, the pulse per unit we have here this you find here in the DDCS. It's quite equal on offline controllers. There's not much difference. In Mac 3, you will go to config. I think it's motor tuning. And you need to use this number here. 640 and that is different from access to access here you see 
So 640 on the x-axis is a number we need to use and enter if you use Mac3. Uh, by the way, this template I have made and uh, it can make diagnostics. You can uh, do uh, uh, tool probing, uh, stuff like that. And it's uh, totally free and you can find a link in the description for this uh, template as well if you want to use that. So the constructed length on the x-axis was 90, on the y-axis was 80, in my case millimeters, and it was 10 millimeter, the depth of the hole. The actual measure was uh, 90 point I think it was 27 and it was 80 point 37 and we had on the set axis it was managed for 6.6.28 6 so what happens now you see new p unit it is 1001.327 this is matter of fact a little bit wrong because i adjusted already the set axis because i had to carve out something um <clears throat> but let's say it would be 9.8 so it has to be adjusted to 1031.2041 and the number you need to enter here now is this number here the new p unit and for the x-axis it's 1001.327 for the y-axis is 999.6417 you need to enter here and for the for the uh, z-axis you need to enter uh, 1031.2041 and that you need to enter here when you have done that you measure the x and the y and the z again and eventually make some few more adjustments so far so good that's it so it is not really complicated as you can see and uh, well i would uh, recommend that you calibrate your cnc in every third month that's all for today folks have a nice day bye bye see you next time